Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this video is titled High Power Microwave Testing Tales from the Dark Side, or How to Screw Up Big Time. Now, I know some of you have subscribed to uh, my videos, and I have ones on airline flying, military flying, test flying, and a few uh, on uh, electrical engineering. And some of you guys have subscribed and said, well, what are all these airplane ones? I subscribed because you had some interesting tales on electrical engineering. And I thought, well, I really don't have a whole bunch of interesting tales. But, you know, the more I thought about it, the more things kind of came to mind. So I've come up with a few that I'm going to talk about. And as um, I mentioned on the uh, the B-52 radar one, I was lead engineer. In the, I, I got to be lead engineer because of that program. But I was lead engineer in the microwave technology group at Boeing Military Aircraft Company. And one of the things that was under my purview was a facility for high power microwave testing um, of various devices that was at the antenna range. Now my kids are going, oh, you're a microwave engineer. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not the thing in the kitchen. You know, oh, they knew that. They just like to kid me. All right, this is a picture of the antenna range facility um, at, at Boeing at the time when I was working there. And the blue arrow there is, points to, it's almost off the picture there, but that's our high power microwave testing facility. And like I said, that was something under my purview. And we would get people sending in uh, devices to be tested. And there's this one gentleman I'd worked quite a bit with. He developed uh, cables that we tested at high altitude, high temperature, and high power. And I've done a number of these tests for him, a very nice individual, small company, and he, he built these cables and he uh, sent in a set of cables to be tested. Well, I told the, uh, the people up at the, uh, the power lab, you know, this is a standard test with the, uh, the standard parameters. And, uh, the technician called me back and say, Hey, I got bad news for you. The cable burned up. And I go, really? And, uh, he showed me the cables and yeah, they're scorched and, uh, these aren't cheap, cheap, cheap cables. So I called up the, uh, the owner of the company and said, Hey, I got bad news. The cable burned up. And he says, well, you know, on the proposal, I changed the, um, uh, temperature, uh, requirements of this to a much lower temperature. These ones didn't need to be tested to as, as difficult a conditions. And I had missed that. You know, these proposals are fairly thick. You know, it's no excuse. I screwed up. I missed it. Um, we were supposed to get the test right and I gave the, uh, the technician the wrong parameters. So I'm sitting there at my desk and I realized this was my fault. So I went into my boss, Carl, and I said, Carl, I screwed up. I said, I tested him to the wrong conditions, burned up the cables. I said, he said he, he could send an, another set of cables and the technician said he would, you know, he'd set it up and redo it. And, and so I said, we can, we can correct this. Carl looks at me and says, you know, it's in the contract that even if we screw things up, that's too bad. You have to pay for another, uh, another test at $5,000 a shot. And I go, Carl, that's not right. I screwed up. This is my fault. It's not his fault. And Carl laughed and looked at me and says, yeah, go ahead, get the cables, redo it. It'll be fine. So, um, nobody was too upset. <laughs> I got the cables, uh, retested and with the less stringent um, tech order conditions, uh, they pass fine, but you got to pay attention to detail as an engineer. Thanks for watching.